Oh, this meat smells incredible. Amazing, isn't it, how long the strings can get. <laughs> Carol here with Fresh Chili Company, and I'm going to show you my speedy tacos. This is just a really quick way to make tacos, and um, of course, using our sauce. I use two different kinds of our sauce in this. I use our green to make the meat with, and then um, I use our fresh red instead, which is basically our, our red sauce in our squeeze bottle. Um, as the topping. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put our the taco shells in uh, the oven so they can start to warm while I'm preparing the rest of the dish. In the oven. Okay, our next step is we are going to start our ground beef browning. You can use turkey, you can use pork, um, ground beef, deer meat, elk meat, um, anything you'd like to use. I'm going to let that continue to brown and I'm going to come over and I'm going to spiralize some potatoes. And I've already washed these and I just sliced the ends off because it makes it a little bit easier to spiralize. So. If you don't have a spiralizer, you, you don't have to spiralize potatoes. You can um, just chop them into little pieces. Now I'm doing three potatoes. And the reason I do three is because I want to have a little bit left over. I like to use the, my leftover meat and I like to use my leftover potatoes for in the morning to make with eggs for Randy for breakfast. Okay, so now we're going to take this over and I'm going to just kind of saute these lightly in a pan. Now my meat was 93% uh, lean, so I really don't have to pour any fat or anything off of it. So the next step, I'm ready. This is how I'm gonna season it. It still has just a tiny bit of pink, but it's gonna cook for a little while longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the secret ingredient. If you get a jar and you can't get it open, because you're weak like me. Fred Higgins taught me that. Thank you, Fred. So then we just stir this chili all into the meat and just let it cook on low. And believe me, this is all the seasoning that you need. I have a lot of recipes that I can use this meat with. Everything from shepherd's pie to breakfast burritos to tacos. I'm just going to turn the fire down, way down on this, and just kind of let this simmer. I'm going to swap burners so I can give this a little more attention. Mmm, look at these. Yummy. Oh, they smell so good. When this uh, sticks to the pan a little bit, you can always add a little bit of water and it'll help it release from the pan. Put a little bit of salt on these. Sometimes I like to give these just a little bit of a steam to just help them finish cooking. Test one of these. 
Uh oh. I got a really long one. <laughs> I think we're ready. <laughs> so we put a generous helping of meat in here. And then, of course, we want to have the cheese on top of the meat. So it'll just melt all down. Yummy potatoes on top. Cover with your fresh red 